Welcome back to the channel everybody. Today I am here in San Antonio, Texas at Dogger Fry Lander. I came all the way from California to San Antonio to check this truck and it is not just to check it out, it is mostly to make sure that the owner of this truck is going to make a good investment because this truck costs around $40,000 and $40,000 is quite big money. So it's good to actually make sure then the truck is in a good condition because sometimes you can buy trucks and they are not as they say they are. That's the reason why I came all the way here to check this truck. This is a 2016 Cascadia with a D15 engine with 450,000 miles. I'm gonna start a complete inspection on this truck to make sure that everything is fine. From tires all the way to the engine to the emission system as well. So the first thing I noticed when I got here that this truck has super singles. These are super singles and the owner of this, the one thing is gonna buy this truck is doesn't use super singles. So this is a big problem because it's some extra cost then we can be added to the truck. So that's something that I have to tell the owner then this is uh, something that is not probably, he wasn't expecting this. Anyway, uh, checking over here the drums is pretty easy because of the, uh, of the super singles and uh, I can see clearly that this truck hasn't been moving at all. You can see the rust over here. And this truck has been sitting for a while. Or oh, probably in a very cold area. Walking to the front, we see that everything is cool. Differential, they have no leaks. Uh, the U-joints, they're fine. They don't see no leaks, no grease coming out because these are the sealed U-joints. So this one is fine. And no leaks over there, so that's fine. I mean, the, in, the, in general, the truck, it is okay, it looks all right. So that doesn't mean then uh, we just gonna inspect that everything's gonna be all right. That's the reason why we wanna inspect it thoroughly. So the mechanical area, the engine over here, it looks fine. We don't see no leaks, see this engine looks super dry, which is good, no leaks. It looks, as I said before, see this pulley over here is all rusty. Hasn't been moving at all, so. I know that this truck has been sitting for a while. So this tells me a lot about the truck. Looks clean, no leaks, um, and, uh, and everything looks in a good condition. So that means apparently this truck is in a good condition. I'm gonna see how's the engine performance during a region and how is the emission box during a region, how that performs. That is something that you have to check because this, this and that, those are the most expensive parts of a truck. They can cost as much as the truck. So that's the reason why that is the most important thing to check when you are buying a truck. So what I do now is turn on my computer, get it load, warm the engine up. I have to let it warm for like around like 15 minutes and then start a region. And then I wanna get back to you. But before that, while I was expecting the truck before starting the video, I started to check the uh, APU. But I don't know what's going on with this APU. It doesn't run at all. I think something is wrong with this APU because uh, we usually APUs they have a switch over here to turn it off, turn it on, depending. That's the emergency switch, but in this one doesn't have that kill switch. So if I go to the uh, sleeper, then there is this switch over here that says on. So I press it multiple times, it doesn't do anything. I press and hold, and it doesn't do anything. And I press the other switches. He doesn't do anything. I don't know what's wrong. That's something that I want to be writing it up. I want to be telling the uh, owner of the truck, I mean, the ones that want to buy it, then uh, for some reason the APU is not working. So I want to tell the people that is selling this truck, then this is an issue right now. Okay, uh, the engine is running right now. And I just wanted to mention this. Usually when you go to dealers, you have to test the truck and everything. But in this case, you see this, this truck has no fuel and that's not good because you cannot test it at all. So if this is the case, please ask the dealer to refill at least to put like 10 gallons of fuel to do everything. But anyway, let's continue with it. Uh, the engine is running. So all I have to do is like connect everything. The computer is connected. So I want to check over here the freeze page where it says commons over here. It is just to check information to see if the big number matches. That's all. If the big number matches with everything, that means that everything is the original. 
on this truck, see everything matches the big number, see the same big number on everything, which is good. I mean, it is good in a way, but it is bad in a way because that means that nothing, none of this has been replaced in the past, but it is good in a way because everything is original. So let's go to the codes. So they haven't deleted the codes at all, and we have this many codes over here. So let's see when this code happened. It happened at the beginning of the year. So something related to the to the region and all these codes right here. See, they were related to the region. So probably they fixed that problem already because they're not on, but we're gonna make sure right now by performing a region. So what we're gonna do right now, let's go straight to the region because there is not much fuel. And um, see everything here, everything is fine. So let's start a region right away. The region will start anytime soon. We just wanna wait until the temperature raises high enough so we can see the region happening, the injection of the fuel happening. Meanwhile, the region is happening. There is a lot of smoke coming from the tailpipe of this um, truck. It smells mostly like DEF. So probably the SCR is not working well. So we're gonna go back to the truck to see how the emission system is working. The region is in process. You can see the smoke coming from the tailpipe, which is a big no to buy this truck. But we have to check it truly, you know, to make sure that everything is uh, bad or good, depending how it is. So, so meanwhile, the rigging is happening. I can see that the electrons of the temperatures are in a really good condition. They are not uh, out of limits. So that means that the region uh, system is working well. The problem that I think we're having is on the emission system with the SCR. So we go to the SCR, it's smelling really bad now. And we can see the emission, see? Emission reduction is really bad. This one right here is 91, 192. That is super low. You can see the emission conversion here, 36. That is a no good. SCR box. This SCR box is not good at all. So hopefully through the region will go down. It seems like it's going down, but still it is I don't think this SCR box is good. Because this it doesn't supposed to do this. The region doesn't have to be like middle or to the start to lower the emissions and plus the smoke it doesn't actually help. It's very possible that this emission system, this emission box will need replacement soon, which is not going to be good. We can see now that the uh, emission is going lo um, lower, which is good, because usually when the filter gets warm and everything, it starts everything working well, but it doesn't supposed to do that. So you, we just gonna wait until the region finish completely to see what is the result after the temperature reaches the maximum and see if the emission box is running well. The reading is about to get done. I can see the electrodes over here. We can see the temperature over here. This is the maximum temperature that the reading has to reach. And it's about to get there. So that's cool. I mean, the reading is working well. If I go back to the SCR system, it looks like it's working fine as well. At the beginning, it did really bad. But now it went all right. Mm, still, it's kind of questionable for me to uh, to say that this SCR box is good because it was smoking and also the emissions were very low for a moment, which was no good, um, which I don't think is going to be all right to buy this truck. Anyway, uh, region is going to be end, as I say, it's gonna be done soon. So everything is all right here. By looking through the whole thing, I noticed then they changed, they replaced the filter supposedly. They cleared this, this is how dirty are the DPF filters. And I was looking at the SCR box and it looks like they opened it, but the SCR box is the original box then came with the truck. 
which makes sense why probably this SCR box is starting to fail. Probably that's what's going on right now. The SCR box is starting to having problems right now, and that's the reason why at the beginning the uh, emissions start low and smoke, and you can feel a smell like a ceramic smell. That smoke comes with that sensation, which is no good. Um, usually when that happens, that is the, uh, the SCR box, the one that has to be replaced. Uh, so, right now, just to wait until the end to see what is the final result, what are the final, re uh, the final lectures of the region, and, uh, and that'll be all. So the rigging is done on this truck. Uh, this truck is not in the best condition. So I think it's not going to be a good purchase. I don't classify this truck as a good purchase. So probably wanna check another truck right now and wanna see how that one performs instead because I think this was just gonna be a, a waste of money. Because that SCR box is pretty sure, I'm pretty sure the SCR box is gonna go bad soon. So that's like a 7,000, 10,000 bucks. That's not good at all. So left, let's this, uh, leave this one on a side for the moment and let's go check the other one they told me. And uh, and we're gonna do the same process than we did right now. And we're gonna get the results as well. I am checking the other truck right now. This truck, the EPU works. It is not smoking during the region. The engine looks all right. There is no leaks, there is nothing. Um, and some details that I want to show you later, but that's, you know, those are very small details. Anyway, uh, here uh, we have the region going on, and I can see that the region, the emission system is not at its best, but it's better than the other ones. That means that the region started with a low emissions, but it is not, it is having a hard time to keep the emissions low, which is not good too, so for some reason. See right now it's like 47% over here, so that's not good, 44%, probably it's going to go lower, probably it's going to go higher, and that's how it's going to continue, but it is not a perfect uh, truck, I mean uh, we are buying it here at Dog and Pride Lander, it's supposed to be in a really good condition, I'm pretty sure if we tell them to fix it, probably they want to fix it. But that's very important to inspect the truck before because you can buy this truck and then later have a $10,000 repair as soon as you get it. As soon as those like maybe two, three, four trips and then you're gonna have a problem. So uh, we're just gonna continue waiting until the rear ends but it is not in, it is still the same. So I'm pretty sure it's gonna pop a code about the emission flow. We'll see, we'll wait for that. The rear is done on this truck and the mission reduction is good it's working well right now it's at idle and the mission reduction is pretty nice right now you can clearly see how it is 88 percent which is good it's pretty nice and uh, i think this truck is better purchased than the other one uh, also i can see it's good to see right now all the gauges over here they are working turbo all uh, transmission temperature is, is working all pressure is all right, it's not bad, and the differentials are working as well, all temperature is good to have with these many gauges. Here in the LG area, we can hear that noise, the squeaking noise, that is the belt. The belts are bad on this truck, and the fan is not deactivating, the fan is constantly running, which is not good. Well, uh, the audio went bad on this take. I'm sorry about that but anyway what I was trying to explain on this part of the video was then this is the process that you have to do when you're trying to buy a truck it's very important for you to try to investigate how the truck is that's right it's very important to pay a mechanic to see how the truck is performing the only problem is then you have to follow this um, uh, inspection the one I just did you have to follow this specific protocol to find out where the problems are going to be and it's very important for you to try to 
find out as much as problems you can because as soon as you buy the truck it is under your responsibility and uh, most of the time dealers don't want to fix anything even when they say they can fix whatever is wrong with the truck that is not true because they want to get as much as profit out of the truck so it is on you to actually realize how much uh, things are grown on the truck and if the purchase then you're gonna uh, do by buying the truck is going to be worth your money and if it's not it is just better to see another truck then probably it's gonna be in a better condition or you're gonna have less problems than the one you wanna buy and the price is going to be more flexible and that's another thing if the dealer doesn't wanna have, um, uh, fix the problems with the truck it is better uh, for you to try to negotiate the price so that probably they can lower it or uh, you can get a better payment or something like that so these are all the advice that I have for you and that's the reason why I came all the way to Texas to see these trucks because the person that was going to buy these trucks they don't want to make mistakes they want to buy these trucks in a good condition and that is very important why they needed these trucks to be inspected before buying them so up to right now they already bought two trucks that I inspected when I was there and that's good because they knew that the trucks were in a good condition and I was sure that the trucks were in a good condition so now they're happy with their purchase so hope this video is uh, very informative for you um, I don't know uh, if it's gonna help you somehow but I'm trying my best to do um, these videos is very informative and I'm sorry about the audio the audio cut off in this last part of the video but um, uh, well uh, I'm trying to fix that somehow anyway so make sure to like the video share it with everybody comment on the video that way you can share your own opinions about this specific topic uh, support my channel check the description of the video where I have details how to support my channel subscribe and Thank you for watching.